<laughs> right. All right, you hood snuggling bastards. Today we're talking about this bag of belly jumpers. That's right, a screamer. So unless you're from the Nancy family of bricks that like to run away, and you want to know how to make this jag with your been a while, then stick around. I'm Dirk, Dirk Slasher. And here are five things you might or might not know about a screamer. All right, and one more thing. You might be asking yourself, Dirk, what do you got this accent going on? Well, I'll tell you. Mind your own business. All you need to know is hang out to the end of this video. I have a great potato sitting on a melon for you. Now pay attention. The first bit of brain goop I'm going to enlighten you gets with, and I'm sure some of you liver squishes already know, is that those clod hoppers below your ankles move backwards faster than that screamer can move forward. Let me interpret what that means. As long as your eye lock with this nine foot piece of iron backpedaling, he won't be able to hit you. What's that mean? Walk to jam these nut hoppers into this jammy spinner while he's swinging those lunch clackers around. Now pay attention, what are you doing there? The next thing I've got to jack Lily your radial cortex with is how to differentiate between a screamer about to inherit the art of daisy pushing and a I'm fine, nobly's not home yet screamer. Now throw a Tommy Wobbles at that bloke coming down on the rock. Notice how it gets all red and blood. Now if that mask behind your snot locker's been tickled properly, you'll do a takedown on that fresh screamer. So now, we can finish up this last bomb on a bar stool by sending him some Tommy Wobbler. He's already bloody, he's near death, and a few more shots, and he's dancing with a Neanderthal cave scribbler. Now the third thing I want to squaggle into your skull He's throwing a few rounds into a screamer to make him see some back flipping barn animals. Bro, and where's the value in that, you might ask? Well, I'll tell ya! It'll save you from using your special melee, you pansy bastard! Bro, now to demonstrate, we have Anna here. She's a queen of zombie killing. She throws some zombies into the screamer and it goes behind for a takedown. Whammy! Her special melee is still intact for later use. Bro, now quit your gulping! I need you to be a Lucy Lucy for this next bit. Now keep those squint masters on the workbench. I'll throw these kick fillers into the wind, and now I touch and go with the workbench. And when I come out, I'm mixed up, ready to tango. Now I know what you gutter bastards are thinking. What's so important about that? Well, I'll show you. I'll put some Wally babies there in that doorway, and hopefully it'll slow them down and beat them up a little bit. And we're not dancing around a gin bottle. When you're going sideways with three of these blokes, this is bound to happen. But don't just sit there on your bottom. Get up, muscle through it. Right, so now that these bags full of hollies have had their fun, it's time for me to trolley on over. I'll have a med kit now, and now it's time for me to dip some salty crackers into a boot. Now notice I took the bloody one to the cinemas first. And I'm also employing the tactic of throwing jimmy jammers into them to keep them stunned. And as you can see, using those clod hoppers beneath my ankles to keep moving backwards so I don't end up flat bottom, twisted about, trickling down a spiraling pipe with peppercorn Susie. But what you lot really need to be on about is how I'm using this workbench to keep my weapon full of smart hoppers. Bro, now hang on a bloody sec. Bro, and there you have it. Twice around the red shanty mill, easy peasy. Now here we are in horde mode. Did you know there are spots in most horde maps to where a screamer has to vault over? Bro, now when he performs such a ballerinic performance, he'll take a step, and that's when you pounce. Bro, on any of the darkness, it's the sandbag. <laughs> he takes a gallop over, and you got a free shot for a takedown. Now in order to perform this tactical bit of bollocks, You'll need to get the sand out of your lady hey. parts. You're gonna need to be facing the same direction as a screamer when he comes over the wall. Hey, now if I your assailant is an undead wood, there's a big log wall right here. There's one up top too. He takes the gander over, and you can do a takedown. But be warned, if any of those bastards you're fighting with decide to shoot the front of the screamer while you're behind him, he won't take the step forward, and you'll get shot. So the moral of that story is, if you're on Mike, be sure to yell out, you got him. Now if your assailant, is chasing you around final departure with a piece of fresh fruit. You have this window here. You can jump through the window, he'll follow you. You can disarm the fresh fruit and do a takedown. Now here we are in dead in the water. Now if your opponent's all high and mighty and he's chasing you around with a pointy stick, 
As he comes up out of the water at this spot, you simply disarm with a banana and do a takedown. There you have it. Four things that keep you from crawling shops up about a Kringle caught in a lily sprout of your long lost gum trolley. Right, now here's that great potato sitting on a melon I promised you. You'll notice how this screamer is T bottoms down oblivious to the rest of the team here. Savage just ran right by him. And it was down getting some ammo. And right, a hair's jerk just throwing Jimmy Jammers in the back of him. And why are we so dilly dilly about this screamer? Well, I'll tell you. Because we all know he's Eyelock with this bloke across the map, hold the fort. What's this mean? Well, I'll tell you. If you're ever in a game of hold a fort, a bastard scream is always going to go after fort. You want to know why? Well, the story is simple. Hold a fort has the largest collection of Canadian quarters on the planet, and this rot bastard screamer wants his hands on him, along with an alleged Britney Spears T-shirt. Right. So let's wrap this okay. shabagal up then, shall we? If you get to enjoy this video, feel free to hit the like button. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> and if you got something to say, leave it in the yeah, comment you section. You can also follow Dirk on Twitch, where you'll see some of these mates right here every now and then. I'm Dirk Slasher. Have a nice day!